Ready. Good. All right, so here's the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung, as we get ready to go here round one. He's got a lot of late finishes, but not afraid to get the opponent out of there early. Second fastest knockout in UFC history against Mark Hominick, to his credit. We'll see if Chan Sung Jung gets out of the shoot quickly tonight. Stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by the Korean zombie. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the Slimy Octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, beautiful job there by the... Oh, he... oh beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have... He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Jordan will choke his locked in. He's got hard right now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Right into side control. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, he's got it locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing him to get a submission victory. Oh, he got out. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise the fight was possible. See if he can take advantage of it. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again. Oh! Oh, oh So, under a minute to go here. And oh, pretty sneaky there to get the ankle pick. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy, Armand, great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of oh, wow. All right, there's the horn and run around, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the studio. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can drop <laughs> another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, let's get to round two. Able to get down with block. Well, hard to imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown. What gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening, or maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect from this guy. It is, it is, I mean, I cannot believe that we are watching. Well, the Korean Zombie's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. Doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strut now. Oh, and a quick. Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> he passed the half guard. All right, side control now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? Oh, nice jab there by the Korean Zombie. Oh, punches and punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. 
Great job putting in different places for his strikes to land. The Korean Zombie is able to protect the eye there with that block, so that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but no... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking. Before in his career, early, he looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. Quick jab. All right, so a knockdown form in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the strike. Oh, nice ankle pick there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display, and it also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand right. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow, some way, he's able to get out. Look at that, Johnny. Gets to his side. That allows for him to slip the right arm out. He gets to his back. Now, he's inside control, but he's out of that deep submission attempt. And the Lord sounds on round two. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a fast